We had a lot of developments last week with the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, as it's called. As you, as most folks know by now, Senator, I mean, President Barack Obama gave a speech last Thursday in which he essentially said that folks who have individual insurance plans right now that were going to be canceled uh, would be able to keep those plans um, for, for another year. Uh, it remains to be seen how this is going to work in New Hampshire. Uh, Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield New Hampshire is the only insurance plan on the exchange. That's how you can buy insurance if you don't have it now. And that was going to be required of all individuals who had insurance. Now, Anthem was the only company willing to write proposals under Obamacare because it has an essential benefits package that's much more expensive, more costly than the individual health insurance plans. Now the question really becomes, are a lot of these individual insurance companies that were essentially leaving the market and saying, we're not going to play in this sandbox this year because the costs are too high, or they quoted their customers in order such such high rates that um, they didn't, they weren't willing to renew because folks couldn't afford that renewal. Um, so, um, can Commissioner Savini get a lot of these insurance companies who were essentially dropping out of the market to come back in? He'd been spending the end of last week um, talking with insurance executives about trying to do just that. Um, we'll keep you posted on the developments. We've seen both Democratic Congressman Annie Custer and Carol Shea Porter support a House Republican alternative that went even farther than the president wanted to go, would let anybody buy an insurance plan that doesn't comply with the essential benefits package. Um, president Obama has said he'd veto that legislation, but I think it shows you that Republicans in New Hampshire, Democrats in New Hampshire, I should say, who were up in 2014, think Obamacare right now is a real liability. We saw that with U.S. Senator Gene Shaheen, who's proposed legislation last week formally to give folks two more months to sign up for Obamacare. Um, Democrats are feeling the heat because people, people are becoming less and less fond of Obamacare as they know it. 